All right, we're here with Mike Barron sharing more writing tips. Good morning, folks. Uh, I sometimes give a talk on how to create a comic, and one of the issues that comes up is page layout and how much a single page can sustain. Uh, years ago, if you read Marvel or DC Comics, you'd see pages like you'd see pages like this. A bunch of symmetrical panels. Mm -hmm. uh, these panels aren't exactly symmetrical, but they were in Marvel. Uh, in fact, for years and years, Stanley and Jack Kirby would do their comics with a, uh, a set layout of eight panels per page uh, consisting of eight uh, identical squares. When Jim Shooter took over, he once issued an edict saying, every page must have six panels of the same size. There are no exceptions. Uh, but comics are a visual medium, and as comics matured uh, and began to explore the uh, full potential of, the, of their medium, you, you would get uh, pages that broke from that mold. And of course, uh, the biggest uh, example of this is the full page splash. It used to be that when you opened a Marvel or DC comic, the first thing you saw was a full page splash that drawed you into the story. Now, whether the splash uh, was, was worthy of a full page or not is, is up to the reader. Of course, when you open the comic and you see a full page splash devoted to a talking head with a bunch of uh, notes or conversation, I consider that a waste of space. You have to conserve your full page splash or your big panels for moments that, that require them. And this has to do with the pulse and flow of the story, which is about story dynamics. You can tell a great story with page after page of nothing but symmetrical panels. You can have eight panels per page or six panels per page and do the whole thing, and it can be a great story. But why limit yourself? There are points in the story where you want to open the frame up and give it a big picture. Uh, I think that you look at the pioneering work of Neil Adams and Jim Steranko in particular. Steranko uh, set a, uh, an example. Uh, back in the 70s that still stands today when you look at his comics, uh, you get that expression of, wow, look what he did. Uh, so here's my rule about opening the page up for big images. The story has to legitimize the big image. There has to be a reason for it. When you see a full page splash of an explosion, for example, that's one reason. Now, for me, all explosions look alike. It doesn't matter if it takes up the full page or a two-page spread or it's crammed down to a little corner. We can all imagine that explosion. But when you're trying to depict a setting, uh, an ancient Mayan uh, kingdom, for example, or a space station, that's a legitimate reason to open up your page and give it a lot more space because you're showing something that's marvelous. You're showing something that's wonderful, that's going to draw the reader in. A full page splash that's nothing but a portrait of a talking head isn't that exciting. It's not going to draw you in. But when that page opens up and you see the pyramid of the moon in a Yucatan jungle or a sprawling space station that's crammed with detail, you take a moment, you look at it, and you say, wow. So you save your big panel moments for moments that require wow. Now, sometimes that's an action sequence, too. I am not a fan of devoting an entire page to a single punch. Readers want to see the action unfold in a clear, linear, and exciting manner. They want to see where the punch comes from and where the punch goes. Uh, but devoting a single page to, say, a three- or four-panel breakdown of a martial arts technique is highly worthwhile. So that's my message to you. A comic is a thing that, that's alive when it's done right. It pulses and flows, and the page layouts should reflect that. There's a place to have four symmetrical panels when you're planning or talking or showing something unfold, and there's a place to open it up and give that image the space it deserves. All right. Thanks, Mike. And remember, every, is it Wednesday? Every, every Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm here blabbing my heart out. We have a video, either a new one or we upload one that Mike has done before. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.